What the Chuck is up there, YouTube? Chuck and Trucker here coming back at you once again for a quick look at the potential future of vapor products in the U.S. That's right. We're going to be taking a look at the Views Alto pod system by R.J. Reynolds. That's right. We're going to take it down. We're going to check out what comes in the package. We're going to bring it back on top. We're going to use it. I'm going to give you my thoughts and more. Let's go downstairs, guys. Come on. Let's go. And here we go, guys. The Views Alto Pod System. By R.J. Reynolds. Made in China. Let's open this thing up. You get a little card here. Has a little bit of information on it. On the back, uh, charging guide, and the power unit guide. Um, there's a little website down here if you want to go on there and get more information about this thing, I guess. It comes with your device, obviously. Looks real familiar here. Uh, kind of like a uh, little stick device, like a jewel. Um, included will be your charger here. This is a magnetic charger, I'm going to assume. Uh, <clears throat> yep. Magnetic charger. Uh, not too dissimilar from a jewel. You just plug it in and charge it up. Oh, guys, this is so depressing. Okay, this is the uh, pod device, the pods that I chose for this device. Um, I was in a flavor band state, so the only thing I had to choose from was the original rich tobacco or mint. Um, not really a mint guy. Uh, rich tobacco scares me. This really scares me too, but you know I wanted to show you guys the uh, potential future of vaping so your pods open this up comes about like that you get two of them in the package anyways guys this is this is this is really depressing okay we're gonna throw this thing together we're gonna come back up we're gonna use it and we're gonna talk about it and we'll get out of here all right meet me back upstairs guys come on Okay guys, here we go, back on the top with the Views Pod System by R.J. Reynolds. Uh, the pod itself, it attaches magnetically into the device. Um, it doesn't hold the pod like very well. It's, it's, it's kind of feels like if you shake it hard enough, it's just going to fly out. Uh, I, I don't, the pod capacity is 1.8 mil, um, 2.4%. I think you can get it in like 4.8% as well. Um, a little bit stronger. That would be like 2.4% is like 24 milligrams or something like that, right? Um, I'm not sure of what the MAH capacity of the battery is. I don't know how long it's going to last because well, I'm going to try it for the first time, like right now. So let's go. Here goes nothing, guys. Let's see what this thing can do. mouth to lung. Definitely produces vapor. That'll be enough of that. And definitely, without a doubt, tastes exactly like I remember a cigarette tasting. Does it taste like a camel hump? I don't know. Maybe. It's been such a long time. Can't even remember Yes, that's just like smoking a cigarette. Um, not for me, not for me. Okay, uh, what can we say about it? I mean, it's lightweight. You can get them everywhere. Gas stations, truck stops. You know, they're everywhere. You see them. Um, so I guess availability is a plus. 
okay, let me put all my biases aside. The Views product can potentially get people to switch from smoking to vapor products, which is great, right? But in my opinion, it kind of sets you up for failure because it tastes exactly like a cigarette. Um, a long time smoker, you know, you've been smoking for 30 years. You're like, oh, I need to get healthy. Let me switch to this thing. Oh, it tastes exactly like a cigarette. Well, what happens when their battery dies? You know how easy it's going to be to just go pick up a pack of cigarettes? Because it tastes like a cigarette. What's the difference, right? So, in my opinion, mm, you should probably stay away from uh, Views products. Not only because it's big tobacco, obviously, but because it's in my opinion will set you up to relapse much easier than it would be for other products right so hopefully maybe they see it they want to try it pick one up in a gas station you know they switch over and then maybe potentially find better products out there on the market uh rj reynolds let's talk about rj reynolds for a little for a couple seconds here um They're the only ones so far that have been accepted by the FDA with the tobacco application process. Okay, um, May 2020 is the deadline for the uh, PMTA application, and so far, as from what I've been reading, R.J. Reynolds is the only one that's been accepted, and their application is thousands of pages long. Now, when FDA finally came out with their deeming rule, they were kind of unclear on everything that they needed in this uh, application for them to be accepted. And since then, they've came out with clarifications on uh, the rule and what they need. But the deadline is fast approaching for all these applications to get in. And so far, only one's been accepted. Only one. RJ Reynolds probably for this little thing right here right so if they don't accept any other applications then this could be it this could be the only thing you can buy in the US uh, I don't know guys it's not looking good it's really not looking good so we need to fight we need to fight the FDA. We need to fight the federal government with Donald Trump coming out saying that he wants to ban vapor products. Now it looks like he's backing off. It does look like he's backing off on that. He said he was going to make an announcement and then said, we haven't heard anything from him. Okay. At the beginning of November, I was in Washington, D.C. for a rally, stood shoulder to shoulder with my brothers and sisters on the White House lawn and we told him you know we vape and we vote and we're not gonna stand for you know trying to take our choice to live a healthier lifestyle because of false media advertising uh, just lies and dis disinformation um, just recently the CDC has came out and uh, it actually admitted, which is good on them, that out of the testing that's been done on these uh, lung injuries, these biopsies that they've been doing, uh, almost every case, every case has contained vitamin E acetate, okay, uh, and THC, and THC black market cartridges street drugs that are thrown together in a bathtub you know are to blame that's what's making everybody sick you know uh, I've personally been vaping for seven eight years something like that a long time like 2012 13 something like that um and I've never gotten sick, not even once, okay? I started with 18 milligram, I worked my way down to like six, uh, three, now I do like one and a half, you know, milligrams of nicotine, 
And I've never been sick from using a vapor product. Not even once. And these kids, you know, they get a hold of these THC cartridges. And it makes them sick because they're putting who knows what in it. You know, they're extracting THC out of marijuana using who knows what chemicals. And they're just throwing it in there and they're just selling it on the street. And that's what's getting people sick. So, I mean, I understand that the FDA wants to keep everyone safe um, with these products. And, and I agree. We should be safe with these products. And there should be some regulation. But simply saying that these products that have flavors are the reason these kids are getting sick or, um, you know, that children... Are, are using vapor products because the flavors appeal to them um, I think that's disingenuous and I, I don't really think anyone can pinpoint um, a cause to why there is an insert uh, you know more children trying to use these products in school a lot of it's peer pressure um, they think it's the cool new thing which let me tell you a vapor product contains nicotine nicotine is potentially a addictive substance and if you know don't use them point blank don't use vapor products um, unless you're a smoker and you're trying to quit uh, if you've never uh, smoked before, then you probably shouldn't take up vaping. Um, vaping isn't cool. You know, it's, it's, it's tobacco harm reduction, you know. Um, it's to help you quit smoking. It's, it's not to be cool, you know. These kids are using these high nicotine devices like Jules and stuff like that that have like 50 milligrams of nicotine. Um, to get a head buzz, you know, they're trying to get stoned off these things and that's not what they're intended for. You know, they're intended to get people off of cigarettes to, uh, potentially save lives. Right. And the media is just throwing their own spin on it. And these, uh, politicians are just, you know, ah, it's, it's so frustrating. Um, but what can you do? to fight against all this um, stuff that's going on with, with these vapor products. You can join CASA, first of all, because they're our first line of defense when it comes to uh, regulations and um, calls to action. You just enter your email. It's completely free. You don't have to pay anything. You just enter your email, your information. When something happens, like in your state, like say if you're in Illinois and they're getting ready to vote on a flavored e-liquid band. They're going to let you know. They're going to send you an email and say, hey, this is what's going on in your state. Here's a link. Click the link. You can fill out a witness slip or uh, fill out a note to your uh, state representative in your district. And they make it real easy to let your politicians know, hey, we're not going to stand for this. You know, we're adults. We enjoy flavors. Flavored vapor products helped us quit smoking, and we would like to continue using flavored vapor products because we do not want to use a product that tastes like tobacco. Exactly what we were trying to quit in the first place. We want favorite flavored vapor products, and we're adults, and we should have the right to choose as long as it's not hurting anybody else, right? I mean, that's, that's just the way it should be. Um, so sign up for CASA. You can um, call your state representatives. You can email your state representatives. Call the White House. Um, I'm going to post a phone number down in the description below to the White House. Call them up. Tell them how flavored vapor products helped you quit smoking. Um, give them, you know, give them your story. Uh, don't try to keep them on the phone too long. Just tell them, hey, vapor, flavored vapor products saved my life help me quit smoking and that you vape and you vote and if they don't support you they being the government or your representatives if they don't support you you don't support them it's that simple okay guys now we're going to get on out of here that's been a look at the views 
pod system from RJ Reynolds. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, like this video if you like stuff. If you like vapored products, give me a like. Okay? Give me a dislike if you hate my face. Okay? All right. Anyways, let's get out of here, guys. And remember, keep it cloudy, keep it safe, and keep on chucking.